We didn't catch the whole interview there. Did he say anything of note, anything of interest? Um, the, the one thing, obviously, the first question he asked him was about Harry Maguire, the sending off, and you know he was in, he was in agreement with us that you know it was it was a blatant sending off. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And then asked him about the home form, and it is a sense of frustration as in terms of creating opportunities, but we're not being clinical enough as in terms of putting the ball into the back of the net. It's another home game as well, obviously against Tottenham, a huge match, and then they got by into the Champions League. Yeah, I think you can see the frustration because. They're in the game, you know, they've got control of the game for large periods of it. They get themselves in the good positions, they create good chances, but they're, just not, they're, they're, they're struggling with the end product. And, and of course, for any team, you know, when you can see the potential, but you're not fulfilling it. And today was another one of those occasions. You know, Chelsea, at times there, you thought, you know what, they could run away with, they could run away with this game. They could actually get their souls in the game and get, run away with it. But they just never got over to that next level. And even when Giroud scored, it was almost like, hang on, is he offside? Oh, you is another one going to go against you again? Zuma's one, you know? And it's unfortunate. And, you, and those, those sort of setbacks has a, a mental effect on the team, particularly the younger players. Did you ever have those kind of matches where everything goes against you? Obviously, VR wasn't in the equation yet, but referees' decisions. Oh, or... When you played against Stoke, you always felt everything went against you. <laughs> Particularly you know, on, on a Tuesday they night. They the referees all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. No, what we did, <laughs> we, be, we befriended the referees. Befriended, That's what we did. Okay. Put pressure Mark, on Mark, them. Could, Mark would like, look at referees and go on. <laughs> Where we go like, you know, come oh, on, oh, yeah. come and have a cup of tea and what have you. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. But you, you get games where after 10 or 15 minutes, you just know it's not going to be your day. Yes. You just know because things are going against you. And you've just got to try and ride that storm. And Frank Lampard was saying in particular, it feels like Groundhog Day at home. And that's a frustrating thing for him. Were you the shortest in the, in the back four for Stoke? I think I stayed back for some corners. I stayed back for some corners, but then I went up, scored a few. But yeah, I was one of the smaller ones. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, no, it's incredible. No, I'll tell you why. I, like, playing in Stoke oh. was an experience. It was, it, like, it was a challenge, an unbelievable challenge. All week leading up to training was all based on, right, long throw. They're going to they're gonna just overload the pose. They're going to stop you from coming out. It was, like, brutal. You knew elbows shoulders, there's going to be contact. If you got, if you actually come out for a ball, you're going to be clobbered. Mm -hmm. I've never had an opportunity to ask a goalkeeper this, but did you fear the Rory de Lapp throw? Would oh, you prefer to yeah, give away a gosh. corner than a throw in from uh, him? Yeah, we did. We used but to. You personally. Teams, oh, would, um, you know what? They were really hard. They were very, very hard to defend against because of the, 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 the trajectory. Yes. The pace and the trajectory of the ball. That's the most difficult thing. It's very actually, try it. Like, people try it. To actually put a delivery in off the, off the floor. It's actually more difficult to do that then actually throw that ball. When I say that, for Roy <laughs> Delap. Yeah. Yeah. No one else could throw it that way. Yeah. Or very few people could throw it like Roy Delap. And that was just, that was that was his specialty. That was a, an art. That was brilliant. But it was brilliant how it came about because Rory was injured one time. I think it was in the championship. And Tony Pulis just turned around to him when he just, you know, overhand some balls into the box. So Rory's picked up the ball. He's thrown it. And you should have seen Tony's eyes. They just lit up and he's like, I've hit gold here. Because I was with Rory at Southampton, I was oh, with Rory okay. at Derby. We didn't really use it that much. Wow. Um, but I remember a couple of occasions, Dean Windass, he was a substitute. He got booked because he was doing star jumps in front of Rory to stop him from throwing <laughs> the ball in. And when you ask about putting the ball out for a, goal, uh, for a corner, goalkeeper playing for Hull at the time, turned back towards his own goal and put it out for a corner. Yeah. And we just knew that we could get in people's heads because what we always thought, and Mark just hit the nail on the head, from Monday to Friday, the lead-up to playing us, they would concentrate on dealing with long throws. That means they weren't working on their own stuff. And it was it was incredible. Every time we got a throw in, the fans were oh. treating it like it was a penalty. And we were near enough celebrating because we knew we were going to score so many goals from it. I absolutely loved it. Was, <coughs> I can't remember who it was. It might have been Aurelio Gomez, another player said that he was almost in tears. He did. He got he got substituted in tears. Yeah. He it got was hit, Gomez, he got, right? he got hit once and then I think Michael Dawson clattered him as well. Welcome, and he went off. Welcome to the Premier League, mate. That, that, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was just the English game, isn't it? That, that's, yeah. that's also what made it so special. Yeah. You knew those challenges yeah. were along, coming along and it was it was one one huge challenge every every time. It is one of the resounding memories of the Premier League which I absolutely adore. Sometimes I go on YouTube just to watch it for fun. <laughs>